welcome back to another Apples and Tiaras vlog. So today is going to be the first day of my week one of summer break vlog. I decided I'm going to do weekly vlogs and they're going to be kind of like all over the place, just kind of talking about what we're up to, um, just to keep y'all in the loop, see what we're up to. So today is Monday, the 29th of May. And what did we do today? This morning I went to the gym with my friend Shelby, who I've been friends with for a very long time. Um, she still lives here. So I went to the gym with her and then I went to Sprouts, the grocery store. I spent way too much money on groceries, um, but I like did like full blown groceries for the three of us. So um, after that, we came back to the house or I came back to the house. Um, and we hung out for a little bit. I got to look at some of our house plans. We had our electrical plan and our four foundation plans and the final floor plans that I had to look through and approve and like make changes, make notes. Um, overall, the plans are great and there were only a couple of little changes to the electrical plan and one of the sides of the house, the elevation. Um, and so those will go back to the draftsman to get changed and then things will continue to roll through. Um, hung out with Cash, had lunch, and now I'm taking a load of stuff that was in my mom's garage to our storage unit. I don't even know how some of this stuff ended up in the garage and not in the storage unit to begin with. I think maybe it was like in one of the like the pickup trucks when we moved up here and instead of like taking it back because it was mixed in with like things we were keeping at my mom's. Um, if you guys didn't know, we are gonna be living with my parents until the house is built. So I'm just gonna call it home for now because it is home um, and we're gonna be living there for a long extended period of time. So why call it my mom's? It's our home right now. Um, so I just think that maybe it got mixed in with things that were going home. Um, and then I had to go through it all and then decide what stays and what goes. So a lot of what I'm taking home or back to the storage unit today is stuff that we probably won't really need at my mom's. Um, so it's going to go to storage. And then while I'm at the storage unit, I'm going to grab the few things that I have left that go to my classroom. I think there's like a couple of shelves, maybe a few bins that go to my classroom. And then tomorrow, Cash and I have some plans for the day, but we're gonna stop by my classroom and just unload what's left um, to go in there. So um, then after this, we're just gonna hang out at the house and chill and, you know, make some dinner. It's about four o'clock right now. Scott should be off. I think he gets off meeting in the driveway by six, which would be great. Um, I thought he got off at four today, but he's not home yet. So either he's not off at four or he got hung up on a call or something like that. So, um, we'll see. I have to call and see what his status is, but yeah, so now we're heading over to the storage unit. Going to do a little bit of organizing of that. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's pretty full. Um, but there is a lot of space for all of these little things that are going and there's going to be some space for when we start purchasing things for the home, like appliances, cause we want to buy appliances. Um, like when they have big sales, like president's day sales, black Friday sales, um, you know, that kind of stuff we can get ahead and start buying appliances early, have them completely paid off. And then those don't need to go into our home loan. We can just kind of like buy them and with cash or like, you know, easy credit card financing if we need it. So anyway, we're going to see what the storage unit is looking like. Cause I haven't been there since it got filled with my classroom stuff and that it was like to the door. Um, the whole house and my classroom was completely filled to the door. So we're going to see what it looks like.
Go take a picture of me. Um, I'm cooking your chicken now. Say hello. 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 Me. Hello. Hello, little old maid. I got all those seeds. You like living in Prescott? Yeah. But. Tuesday. Um, I apologize that this angle is yucky, but I'm driving and I want to be safe. So I'm on my way to the gym. It is 6:39 right now. I should be there like right about 7. Um, my friend Shelby and I decided that we are going to meet at 7 a.m. all this week. And then next week we'll be meeting up in the evenings um, because I'm gonna be working for my sister next week. And I'll be working from like eight in the morning until three in the afternoon. So it's either gonna have to be, we meet really, really early, like six in the morning to work out, which I really don't wanna do because then I have to get up at five. Or I have to go home, rest for a bit, and then go out to the gym like later in the evening. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, I definitely don't want to be missing out on workouts, so I do know that there's going to be a week in June where I'm not going to be able to work out for a week because I'm doing a sleepaway camp at the lake with my sister, and um, obviously I'm not going to be able to leave because I'm like an overnight chaperone, so I can't just be dipping out to go to the gym. But other than that, I am... I'm sticking to it. I want to work out at least four days a week, at least, um, to, to get started. So maybe I'll take like the weekends off and then that week that I'm working for my sister, like work out only on the weekends. You know what I mean? So we'll see. Anyway, off to the gym. here in Prescott. My family moved here when I was 10 years old. So we moved here in, no, I was 12. I was turning 12. We moved here in 2002. Uh, maybe it was 2001. We moved here the summer before sixth grade. So it had to be 2002, I believe. Um, anyway, and then I lived here my whole like growing up like I moved here when I was 11 so I pretty much grew up here I moved away when I was 21 I went through college and lived in the valley like Phoenix I lived in Scottsdale until 2000 I lived in Scottsdale Mesa until 2016 and then Scott and I decided to move back up here at that point, he had been trying to get hired on by the police department down in the valley. And we didn't really know. We hadn't heard anything. But it, it was a long, long process. And um, we ended up moving up here. We bought a house. And then he got hired. So it was kind of like this whole, like, well, okay, you work in the valley. And I work here. And we live here. Um, and he tried to do the commute thing for a while. But it just got really hard on us as a family. So we decided to sell our house and move back to the valley. 
And when we did move back to the valley, I think we always had it in our minds that we always wanted to come back here. But Scott really, he's a very loyal person and he wanted to give the department that had hired him the time um, because they gave him an opportunity. So anyway, he wanted to, um, a lot of people thought he was just going to go through the academy and then lateral back up here but he wanted to give them the time because they gave him the opportunity. So we ended up living down there for like five years. We moved back in 2018, which was after Cash was born. Cash was like six months old when we moved back down there. And then every year we would come up here to visit family and like be here. And we would always say, we wanna move back, we wanna move back. But we were making such good money down in the valley that it was really hard to like make that decision to take major pay cuts because let's be honest um i'll be completely honest with you guys i'm taking a ten thousand dollar a year pay cut to move back here and scott is taking a five dollar an hour pay cut to be here which doesn't seem like a lot but when you add it all up it's a lot um and so we're having to do you know a lot of things differently to live here um and you know prior to this year we really weren't ready to take that financial cut um but it just seemed worth it this time so anyway i'll go into more detail about like how we're making it work how everything is gonna happen i don't want to share too much because you know this is youtube and um you know I, I don't need to share like that much personal information I just know that I'm very blessed to have um, my mom involved. No, she's not giving me any money. She's not like paying for things for us so that we can live. That's not really how it's working out. Um, we are still 100% financially responsible for everything. It's just that my mom is helping us build a home because that's what her expertise is in and she's built several homes for herself. She built all of our homes when I was growing up um, and she built my sister a home. And so she is giving us this gift of her expertise in being our, like we're doing an owner builder. Um, and even because we don't really know what we're doing, we don't know how to build a house, she does. Um, and so she's helping us build this home, which is saving us a lot of money. We're also paying off our vehicles. Um, and so paying off our vehicles is going to offset the income change. Um, not a ton for me, but for Scott, yes. Um, paying off vehicles is gonna be a major help for us in our ability to live here because our mortgage is going to be completely, it's probably gonna be doubled what we used to pay down in the valley. Um, but we're getting a custom home with land out of it. So I think that the toss up, the trade is pretty, um, is pretty equal. All right, so what's the plan for today? Well, I'm gonna go to the gym. Hopefully we're done by like eight, 8.30. Um, and then I'll run home, shower, and then Cash and I and my mom are gonna go to a local splash pad park with our friends and new neighbors they actually are neighbors of our new house like our lot it's gonna be weird when i talk about like home and the house so i'm gonna have to like figure out how to describe both of them um but they are gonna be neighbors at our new home um where our property is um and they go to the same church as us our kids were on the t-ball team together we recently discovered that we were going to be neighbors um, and so we're going to go to the splash pad with them. I might stop by school and just drop this stuff off. I have a couple of other things I need to drop off there. Um, and a couple things I need to grab to bring home from there. Like random bits that got like mixed in that weren't supposed to go there, but they went anyway. So anyway, um, so I'm going to get this workout done and then I will vlog the rest of the day.
guys happy Wednesday it's 6 38 I'm driving to the gym today's day three okay so it is 6 45 we had a quick change of plans Shelby texted me saying that she woke up feeling really like her allergies were like taking over so she took some medicine she wants to see if we can go to the gym later um after hair and everything because she's got a full schedule today so we'll probably go to the gym much later like probably around four and then um, we will still go out for dinner with the boys tonight. So I just kind of like made a loop because where I was at when she texted me, it was like the perfect time because I could just kind of take the loop back. Um, but I'm gonna just fill up my tank with gas and then head back to the house and just kind of chill all morning with cash. And then um, we will head over to the salon around to uh, 9.30. <laughs> just highlighted me oh man I'm just realizing like how poorly my face looks right now she highlighted um, all of the parts that would show when I style my hair so like she highlighted the top and the sides and just enough to like get me through because our end goal is like a balayage like I would like to have more of my natural hair showing and then just be highlighting um or i guess balayaging it long term and then i'm also trying to grow it out so she did trim it a little bit just because it needed it um and since my end goal is to have it growing out um she definitely recommended that we trim it so here's what it looks like done so it's way better than before and then um my broken bangs are kind of like they're not bangs they're just like broken pieces that are kind of like forming a little bang right here so I'm gonna have to like conscientiously style that so that they're not there <laughs> so yeah you can kind of see it right here um but it is what it is that's what I get for bleaching my own hair for a while but it's fine. So I picked up some food. I just got Chipotle. Um, I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. I'm just gonna like fill my stomach with something and then we're gonna go to the gym. Um, and then after that, we'll go home for a while. So. 
Good morning. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Where are we going, Cash? To the Creek Creek. No. To the lake. We're going to the lake. What are we going to do there? Fish. We're going fishing. Yep, we got all our stuff packed back here. Just a quick couple hour trip to the lake. Our favorite lake is Lynx Lake. So if you're ever up in the Prescott area and you want to go to a nice lake, Lynx is beautiful. You can swim in it, which is why we like to go there. We probably won't swim today though. It might be a little too cold for that. Even my pole is too cold for that. Your pole? Yeah. <laughs> I'm eating hash browns and drinking an Alani. We got this guy with us. My new video game. My new video game. My new video game. No. <laughs> well, now you're done doing that. I mean, done. <laughs> Everybody, this is Emma. Hi. Emma is going to be my new neighbor pretty soon. <laughs> Emma, how old are you? Nine. She's gonna be in fifth grade. I'm gonna be ten though. You're gonna be ten. When's your birthday? July 13th. <gasps> That's coming up. We're gonna have to do something big, huh? Yeah. Ten's a big birthday. I think I'm, for my birthday I might go to the um the trampoline park. Ooh. Emma's gonna hang out with us all day, and then William is down there he and cash are almost the same age you gonna fish today mm -hmm. you're gonna catch a big one yeah i'm kind of bad at fishing that's I, okay I still need practice. that's all right yeah. that's what we're here for I to practice oh there you go let's look for him is Rebecca. Mommy, I'm killing. She will be Mommy, our neighbor at our new I'm house. Chillin'. You chilling? I'm chilling. Chilling? That went really far. And this is June. This is Juniper. She's so cool. She's so cool. She's so cool. She's, so cool. She's, just, she's just taking it all in. Night, baby. So we came down to the square. We just brought a few chairs, some blankets. We ordered pizza from Bill's Pizza across the street here. And we're just gonna hang out here for the evening till the sun goes down. Yes, exactly.
Wait, so is he gonna sleep Cash has this little fart machine that he has set out over across the grass. Do you want to show him where it is? Yeah. Okay, take it over there. So it's right there. So it's right there. It's right there. Did you see it? And over there, it's in the control it. I don't know what to say, but. What kind did you get? Fa -fa -fa. What kind did you get? Vanilla. Vanilla. What kind did you get? Pistachio. And uh It's all over your mustache. No, mustachio. It is mustachio. <laughs> mustachio. <laughs> what kind did you get? Strawberry. What kind did you get? Butterscotch. Mm. I got peaches and cream. They say it's homemade from across the street. Drifty. What's that? It's homemade. Oh, is it? From they across the homemade? street. Mm -hmm. Oh, they told you that, huh? Yeah, because I asked them, I said, do you make it homemade here? Mm -hmm. They said, no, but across the street Mom, is who gives it to us. What does that say? Wow. Franny's. So do you sell their products? Can you sound it out? Like, yeah. Wait. It's like, huh? You guys haven't seen Peachy in a while. She's still alive and kicking, but she's got a big old tumor. She's got a big old sack under here. Baby, it's really big, but we're just kind of letting her be till it told you till it does anything. She's still happy, she still snuggles a lot. Of course, Sammy just looks so painful. You can't go up on my pillowcase because you pee on everything. PG. PG. I don't know for how long I'll get to hold your hand To be your guided light In the darkest of nights I will try, I will try To do my best until the day that I'll die I won't lie, I won't lie it's not going to be easy, but I'll try. Don't you? Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Um, this is going to be the last day in our vlog this week. Say hi, Cash. <laughs> you are Cash. You could just say hi. Um, Cash and I are on our way to Honeybee's Adventure Time. We're going to hang out um, at the lake today. I'm actually working for my sister today. Um, it's about 9.30 and we're almost to the lake. We're going to get there a little bit early, help her set up um, the kayaks and the boats and all that stuff because I know she's going to need a little bit of help. Oh, Panera. Yeah, Panera. Maybe after the lake, if we have time, we'll stop there and get you some mac and cheese. Would you like that? Yeah. Okay, we'll see if we have time. Um, so it's going to be kind of a busy day. I probably won't be able to end this vlog because this this day is going to be so long. Um, so I'm going to formally wish you all a happy summer week and, and let you enjoy the rest of the video. So our plans today are we're going to hang out with Honeybee until about one o'clock. Then at two, we're going to go see the Little Mermaid, the new one. Um, and then we're going to a Wranglers game tonight, which is arena football. We have um, an arena football team that's up here um, in the Quad City, Prescott area. Um, yeah, we're voting for the Reds. Yeah, we go for the Wranglers. Um, and I think today is one of their big rival games. Like, they have to beat this team to make it in the finals again, which they won the um, championship last year. So we're rooting for them to win again this year. So anyway, the rest of this video is going to be just um, us enjoying our day together 
and um, and we'll see you all in the next video. Cass, can you say bye? Bye. Bye. Bye, William. <laughs> all right. Enjoy bye. the rest of the video. Bye, Cash. Bye.